If you spend a lot of time in an Excel workbook and you like to have information from the website displayed in here or the latest information without having to open it up a, another screen or in this case another browser, you can do that. It's basically importing the data from the web. So go under the data menu, down to import external data, and then over and down and click on new web query. It's going to pull up your default home page, whatever that is, and then up here you can go ahead and delete it and type in then when you're done, hit enter on the keyboard. Because I'm so busy, I know Circuit City has a lot of deals, and I like to keep up to date when those deals are expired. And so you can see all these little yellow boxes here with arrows. If you hover over them, it'll show you exactly what's going to pull into your spreadsheet that you can have refresh and keep up to date on, like their deals here for 24 minutes, a 24-hour gift card, and whatever specials else I want to check. So what I'm going to do is I'd like to keep up to see how long they're going to do their free shipping for and check it. Maybe a few other things on their website here and scroll down. Maybe they got their dog days of summer and I don't know when that's going to expire. But instead of going to the website every time, all I have to do is check what I want, click import, and then choose a cell. And I can click on the collapse dialog box button here and click in a cell I'd like to display this information in. Hit enter on the keyboard to pop it back open and then click OK and give it a second while it's connecting and then it pulls in the information, not necessarily the uh, pictures that you see, but actually the pictures that are tied to save up to 12%. Um, all TVs $4.99 and up. As I'm in my spreadsheet over here and I'm working and typing whatever I want throughout the day, if I want to find out if the sale's still on, all I have to do is click over here. Maybe it's even for stocks and I want my stock update. Click anywhere in here, and then on this external data toolbar, they got a refresh data button click on it and it says do you trust this website are you sure you want to pull it in and do you want to keep seeing this message no so I'll check it and click OK give it a second it'll refresh if they've changed it to maybe save up to fifty dollars off mp3 players then I know hey maybe it's a good time to go buy or if it's my stock it's dropping I can go ahead and sell in any case when you're done you can always close out the toolbar and if you need to bring it back again right click on any of the buttons up at the top and then go down to external data in which case you can click in here. If you click on the outside, you can see that the refresh data is not available. It has to actually be in a place where it's linked to the Circuit City website or whatever you chose for your external data updates. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly. And you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me, so for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free, and for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.